Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a cool effect of text popping up in the city or anywhere else. It's kind of like a cool effect from usually that we see that in TV shows. I'm using Adobe stock footage from this, so go to stock.adobe.com and if you have a subscription and you're logged in, just search free and then search road or any kind of video. So on the left, click on the videos and then you have gallery of videos that you can license for free and use in your videos and projects. So this is incredible. Take advantage of this. So in order for us to create a text, click on the type tool or hit T on the keyboard. And let's say we want to create like day one text. Okay. And of course you can change the font. You can, uh, we do drop a little bit of shadow cause it gives us a nice difference. So first of all, I'm going to scale this a little bit. And if you're happy with the size, we can continue. So go to effects. If you don't see it, go to window and click effects, enable and search transform. So it's under video effects, distort and transform, drop it on your text. And in the effect controls, we're going to play with some of these attributes. Okay. So first of all, rotate it. Okay. And then adjust the position. So to make this more believable, just make sure you align it either with the road or with anything that you has that anything that has lines. Okay. Some kind of lines, either building or the road and so on. So play with those attributes, especially with position and rotation. And then you play with skew. Okay. So this will bring a different perspective on the text. And in this case, in terms of road, what works for me is about minus 33, something like something around that number. Okay. And skew axis. So how are you going to shift this? Okay. How are you going to rotate? And in this case, what works for me is around something around 257. Um, yeah, so you want to make it look like it's like an actual billboard, you know, and you align it with the road and the line on the grass. So now when I play that, great. So first of all, I would adjust a little bit of um, opacity to make it kind of like blend a little bit better. And then, yeah, that looks good. And next, what I want to do is adjust position. So I want to actually make it like pop up. Okay. So go to the final position keyframe on the position, then go to the first one where you want it to start. So this is the effect that I want. So a little bit like a pop in, but of course I want to pop it in. So go to click on the first keyframe temporal interpolation is out and then the second keyframe is, is in and it's because you want to ease out then ease in. Okay. So you speed up and then you slow down. Um, yeah, there should be a different video in explaining why it's the other way around. Um, but this is going to work. So adjust the speed and then we want to create a mask. Okay. So because I want this text to appear from nowhere. So go to opacity of the video and draw with the pen tool, draw a mask around the text like this and voila. So this text appears from nowhere. Beautiful. It's kind of like coming out of the ground. Looking good. Okay. So, but we are not finished right now. So go to essential graphics. If you don't see it, click window essential graphics and in the responsive design, select how many frames you want this transition to last. Okay. And these highlighted points, these highlighted sections at the beginning and the end will conform either when you change the length of the graphics. So that's awesome. Okay. So they, even when you change the length shorter, longer, the effect stays always the same amount of time. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So I'll put 25 frames per second. So that's literally one second. If this sequence is 25 frames per second, and then I copy those control command C and I just switched 
the order so the text actually goes back right so put it at the end make sure it's in the highlighted section of the responsive design and now let's review the effect it pops in and then nicely goes out, goes away okay brilliant so now if i make this layer shorter you see my highlight sections i didn't cut them out so the effect is always the same amount even if text is short text layer is shorter if i make it longer the same thing it's always at the beginning and the end so just make sure that you always create responsive design brilliant so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it uh, do subscribe and comment below for any questions